Hey, Brad from VFM Audio. I get a lot of questions on how to use the reverb effects on the X32s and XR mixes. So today I'm just going to run through the parameters that I use. So to get to the effects, we simply hit effects. My reverb's on bus 13, which is effects number one. Now I'll show you some of the parameters that I use. First is pre-delay. Pre-delay controls the amount of time it takes before you hear the reverb after the first source signal. I like to have mine set to about 32 milliseconds. That means that the reverb will come in 32 milliseconds after the first source signal. Next is decay. Decay is the amount of time that it takes before the reverb dissipates. I like to have mine set a bit shorter, usually to about two seconds. So that means it'll take two seconds before the reverb dissipates. Next is low cut. I like to push my low cut up around to about 80 hertz. That means anything under 80 hertz won't be coming through the reverb. And finally, I like to take all my highs out of the reverb. So I use the high cut and drop it down to about 7K. It'll give it a bit more darker sound, but I like that on my vocals. So there's no one-stop solution for reverbs. This is just the way I do it. Don't be afraid to push buttons, try stuff out. It's the only way you're gonna learn.